السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم معنا في قناة English Online Class قناة تهتم بتعليم اللغة الإنجليزية عن بعد لكل الأطوار وكل الشعب أوكي سو so, ما زلنا مع درس English Tenses الأزمنة الجزء الثالث So today's lesson is going to be about the present perfect tense Present perfect tense سبق وطرقنا إلى present simple and present continuous Okay, so we use the present perfect to talk about actions that happened in the past and have some connection to the present نستعمل present perfect كي نتكلموا على أحداث اللي صروا معايا في الماضي ولكن عندهم علاقة مع الحاضر ما زالهم يصروا الآن في الحاضر ولا عندهم علاقة مع الحاضر the, the present tense Like the present simple and the present um, continuous, we have different forms. شوفوا معي الأمثلة. We have been to the new shopping mall. I have just told him. Have you ever been to Australia? We have already had our breakfast. كما راكو تلاحظوا عندنا جمل متنوعة. في كل جملة عندنا الفعل تاعنا راه مصرف in the present perfect بعض الجمل تحتوي على time expressions that are only used with the present perfect راح نشوفوا كل هذا في هذا الفيديو كما راكو تلاحظوا كذلك الفعل يتكون من كلمتين in the present perfect that the, the verb is a complex verb not a simple one which means complex, it means that it includes two or three words. It من كلمتين ثلاث كلمات ليس كلمة واحدة. شوفوا معايا. Present perfect forms. We have three forms. The affirmative form, the negative form, and the interrogative form. Now, we form the present perfect by writing has or have plus the past participle of the main verb هذه قاعدة عامة كي نحب نصرف فعل in the present perfect نحط has ولا have depends on the subject اللي عندي ونضيف من بعده the past participle of my verb من بعد راح نطرق إلى بعض الأمثلة على past participles of regular and irregular verbs نبدأ مع affirmative Four. Look at the examples. I have already done my exercise. First sentence. She has been to the hotel. Second sentence. You have won the first prize in the English speech competition. This is the third sentence. As you can see, in each sentence you have the subject. Here they are pronouns. I, she, and you. Then you have has or have, depends on the subject. The past participles, done, been, and won. And then the object of the sentence. So this is the form of the affirmative sentence. We write subject plus has or have plus past participle plus object. Okay, so this is the form or the rule of affirmative form. Subject has or have plus past participle, then we add the rest of the sentence. We move now to the negative form. When we say negative form, we mean a nafi. Look at the examples. Mary has not been to Japan. I have not seen that movie. Ahmed hasn't eaten sushi before. Now don't grab the empty lamamat. Mary hasn't been to Japan. I have not seen that movie. Ahmed hasn't eaten sushi before. كي مركوت لاحظوا الجمل المنفية كامل نضيف لها not. So in each sentence you have not. To express the negative form or negation. Not نحطها ما بين 
the auxiliary to have and the past participle. So has not been, have not seen, hasn't eaten. الجملة الأخيرة it's the constructed form. When we say constructed form, we mean الاختصار. So negative form rules. نحط دائما the subject ديالي has or have plus not plus past participle. كيما ركوت لحدو نقدر نقول has not. This is the full form or hasn't. The constructed form أو الاختصار. Same thing for have. We say have not or haven't. Haven't is the constructed form of of have not. So ما إذا كان حبيت نستعمل full form نستعمل has not have not. إذا كان حبيت نستعمل الاختصار or the constructed form I use hasn't haven't. Okay. Now we move to the third form of the present perfect, which is the interrogative. Form. When we say interrogative form, we mean questions. يعني أسئلة. Have Mary ever been to Australia? Have you tried the cake already? Has Ahmed worked here? كما راكو تلاحظو كامل الجمل عبارة عن أسئلة. كي ندير السؤال When I form the question, I have to start the sentence with the auxiliary to have. I put the subject of this sentence than followed by the past participle and of course don't forget the question mark يعني كي نحب ندير نصيغ السؤال نبدا دائما الجملة تاعي بالباست بارتيسيبل متبوع بالفاعل متبوع سوري نبدا اولا has or have the auxiliary متبوع بالفاعل متبوع بالذا باست بارتيسيبل اوف ذا مين فيرب نكمل الجملة ديالي وفي الأخير ما ننساش علامة الاستفهام or the question mark. So this is for the interrogative form. So present perfect as the other as any other tenses can have affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms. فقط نتبع القاعدة the rule. To get the right sentence, grammatically correct forms and correct sentences. Now we move to past participles. كيف أش راح نصيغ past participles؟ لأنه هذا هي الحاجة الأساسية في the present perfect. عندي كي ما على بالكم جزء من الأفعال نسميه regular verbs. وعلاش نقول عليهم regular verbs؟ لأنها أفعال منتظمة تطبق عليها نفس القاعدة. So. We form past participles of regular verbs by adding ed to the stem. كي يكون عندي a regular verb نحب نحول past participle ديالو نحتفظ بالstem. Stem هو الفعل كي تنحيله to ونضيف في الأخير ed. Then you will get the past participle of your verb. I will give you some examples of regular verbs. For example, to play is a regular verb. The past participle is played. We just add ed to the stem. To visit, visited. To leave, lived. To finish, finished. To study, studied. As you can see, they have all the same ending. They all take ed. This is why they are called regular verbs. So these are past participles of regular verbs. Now we move to irregular verbs. Irregular أفعال غير منتظمة يعني they have different forms. ما عندهمش نفس القاعدة ما يتب ما عندناش قاعدة نطبقها عليهم بس نتحصل على past participles. So irregular verbs have different forms of past participles. نأخذ بعض الأمثلة مع بعض. So some common irregular past participles. اخترت لكم بعض الأفعال اللي تقدروا تتلاقوا معهم بالزاف في الأمثلة والتمارينات. To be, the past participle of to be is being. The past participle of to see is seeing. 
The past participle of to eat is eaten. The past participle of take is taken. The past participle of go is gone. Finally, the past participle of to sleep is slept. كما راكم تلاحظوا ما عندناش قاعده نطبقوها كاين البعض يتشابهوا فيما بيناتهم ولكن ما عنديش قاعده نطبقها عليهم كامل This is why they are called irregular verbs نواصلوا كذلك to write the past participle of to write is written the past participle of to fly is flown the past participle of to sound is sent The past participle of drink is a drank. The past participle of to have is had. The past participle of to do is done. اخترت لكم كما قلت لكم بعض الافعال they are common verbs الافعال اللي تتلاقاو بهم وتصادفوهم بزاف في التمارينات والامثله. We still have another list. نكتشفوها مع بعض. To choose, chosen. So the past participle of to choose is chosen. The past participle of to drive is driven. The past participle of to take is taken. The past participle of become is become. The past participle of bring is brought. The past participle of to feel is felt. هاد ال past participles مادام ما عنديش قاعدة عامة نطبقها ننصحكم تحفظوهم يعني ما كاش طريقة أخرى باش <hesitation> تشفاو عليهم إلا الحفظ so you have to memorize them try to memorize five till six participles per day نحاول في كل يوم نحفظ خمسة إلى ستة باش هكدا <hesitation> خلال مدة قصيرة نكون تمكنت منهم كامل now some common verbs in the present perfect with All pronouns. اخترت لكم تلت أفعال. دت لكم تصريف تحهم in the present perfect with all pronouns. بس يكونوا عندكم كأمثلة. So, نبدأ مع the auxiliary to be in the present perfect. We say I have been or I've been. I've been is the construction or the constructed form of I have been. You have been. We have been. They have. Been, he has been, she has been, it has been. So on the other side, you have the constructed form of to be in the present perfect. من جهة عندكم the full form, من الجهة الأخرى عندكم the constructed form. Both are considered as correct. بين الاثنين نقدر نستعملهم. نمر إلى الفعل الثاني. كما قلت لكم ننصحكم يوميا تحفظوا خمسة إلى ست past participles هكذا في مدة قصيرة تكونوا تمكنتوا منهم كامل لأنه لائحة جد طويلة Now we move to to do in the present perfect We say I have done You have done We have done They have done He has done She has done Done. It has done. كما راكو تلاحظو في كل مرة عندي has or have depends on the pronoun than the past participle of my main verb. So both form the present perfect tense of the verb. On the other side you have I've done, you've done, we've done, they've done, he's done, she's done, it's done. Done. So this is the constructed form. نمر مع بعض إلى الفعل الثالث اللي اخترته لكم. To have in the present perfect. I have had or I've had. You have had, or you've had. We have had, 
or we've had. They have had or they've had. He has had or he's had. She has had or she's had. Finally, it has had or it's had. So this is the um, present perfect of to have. Now, in the present perfect, you have to pay attention to the verb, to the past participle of the verb, and also you have to pay attention to some expressions. There are some expressions that are used only with the present perfect tense. These are expressions of time. Already, get, since, and for. Haduma, ibarat, tchus al zaman, nistamil hum faqat ma. Present perfect. Can say one من هادو يعني نعرف بلي الفعل لازم نحطه في present perfect tense. Already, it means that something happened earlier than we expected. We put it between has and have and the main verb. So the first time expression is already. Already دائما نستعملها مع present perfect. المكان تاع في الجملة يكون between has and have and the past participle. The second time expression is yet. Which means yet? It means that something that we expected happened or not happened. We put it in the at the end of a sentence. نحطها دائما في آخر الجملة. Look at the example. She hasn't arrived yet. Arrived. It's only one a. Okay, it's a typing mistake. So she hasn't arrived yet. For the third expression is for. We use it with a period of time. نستعملها مع مدة زمنية. For example, for a few days. خلال بضعة أيام. For half an hour. خلال نصف ساعة. So for is used with a period of time. آخر time expression is since. We use it with a time. When the action started, for example, since 8 June, منذ 8 جوان. Since last year, منذ الشهر العام الفارط أو الماضي. So we use it with, uh, sorry, with the, when the action started. So to talk about an action that started in the past. So at the click on the Basit, you have some a table including some verbs. So try to give the past participle of these verbs. Visit, take, sleep, write, fly, send, drink, have, make, win, drive, eat, read, buy, find, leave. Ride, go, lose, finish. بعض الأفعال طرقنا ليها وبعض الأفعال راح تتعلموها معنا كذلك. There is a mixture of regular and irregular verbs in this table. عندكم خانة تاع past simple. ما خديتهاش أنا يعني في الحل ما راحش نعطيها لكم. نخلو past simple إلى فيديو آخر ودرس آخر إن شاء الله. نشرحه مع بعض. من بعد نديرو تمارين تخصو. الآن نهتم فقط بال past participles. شوفوا الحل معايا. So, we have here, visited, the past participle of to visit is visited, taken, for take, sleep, slept, write, written, fly, flown, sand, sent, drink, drank, have, had, make, made, win, won, drive, driven, eat, Eaten, read, read, buy, bought, find, found, leave, lived, ride, ridden, go, gone, lose, lost, finish, finish.
finished. الآن ما دام عندي past participle باش نتحصل على the present perfect I have just to add has or have before the past participle باش نتحصل على present perfect نضيف فقط has ولا have قبل the past participle of my main verb وصلت معكم إلى نهاية الفيديو إن شاء الله تكونوا استفدتوا معي إن شاء الله تكونوا تعلمتوا درس present perfect نتلاقى إن شاء الله مع فيديو آخر ودرس جديد يخص الأزمنة هلا في روحكم ما تنسوش فعلوا جرس الإنذار هكذا توصلكم كل فيديوهات English Online Class واللي عنده أي سؤال يتواصل معنا عبر صفحة الفيسبوك الإنستغرام يخلينا تعليق في قناة اليوتيوب هلا في روحكم سلام السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم معنا في قناة 